Hey guys, this is Robert again from Australian Camping and Four Wheel Drive. So, today we're going to have a look at uh, the pizza oven that uh, is made by Snow Peak. Uh, you can take this camping with you. Uh, beauty about this type of setup is it fits on top of the uh, Snow Peak fire pit. Uh, here we've got the larger fire pit uh, with its base sitting there today. Didn't worry about uh, putting up the table around it today. We're just going to give the uh, pizza oven a go and see how we uh, go cooking up uh, pizza tonight. Uh, some of the things we've got sitting here, so uh, they come in a really nice box. So you've got your box here that they, they come, they're supplied with. A couple of different boxes inside that one. Uh, so pieces that you get inside, you get this bag. Now this bag here actually has your pizza stone, uh, which is the bit which is sitting right up top of here. So you have this pizza stone that comes with it, and uh, that's obviously designed to make a pizza on. Um, something that I did notice in the instructions there in Japanese, I think they are. <laughs> it looks Chinese to me, but anyway, um, the, you've got your pizza stone. It sort of looks like you're really supposed to uh, put it up on top of here uh, whilst you've got it on top of your um, your, your fire pit to uh, heat the bottom of it, uh, to warm the bottom of it so you don't get any cracking by the looks of it as well. So that's something we're going to do as well. We're going to uh, get the fire pit going in a while and uh, we're going to put the uh, pizza oven, move that over to the top over there and let it all heat up as well. Uh, something else we got to, as well, we got the um, what do you call this guy? The the uh, pizza cutter, essentially. And I was really impressed with the with the quality of this guys. Um, they've got this little leather pouch that comes with them, and uh, this just comes off. And uh, inside there's your uh, your pizza cutter. And so we'll use that tonight to um, cut up our pizzas. Uh, that I was really impressed with um, how how good quality that actually is. It um, not like yeah, just your standard run the mill um, bits of bit bits of pieces that you find out there as well. Um, so yeah, so they provide you with your bag. You put your you put your pizza stone in there when you're not using it. And um, something that I thought about as well was um, I think well you know maybe you don't always want to cook a pizza. What if you just want to reheat something perhaps? And I was thinking you could actually use these uh, tin foils and you could put your stuff in there and heat up whatever you wanted to. So you wouldn't necessarily just have to use it as, as a pizza oven, you could just use it as an oven if you wanted to and just heat up whatever else you had there. So uh, it would be good maybe if you had one of the, 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 the lids or put some alfoil over the top of that so the heat, didn't, the uh, moisture didn't escape and uh, you could whack that in the pizza oven and away you go. Um, so it comes with your handle obviously and that's obviously to, to grab hold of your, your pizza stone and uh, so that sits in there like so and then that lets you uh, grab hold of your pizza stone like so obviously so you don't have to uh, touch it when it's um, when it's uh, nice and hot and uh, inside the oven I'll just take this part off so this is actually your oven so uh, inside there you'll see it's got this big metal uh, piece to help strengthen it as well and I'll say by the looks of it I suspect that's also to help provide heat up top up there when you're when you're cooking on top of it uh, when you get everything warmed up but the thing I noticed here as well, they've also provided you with this uh, metal grill in here and that's just designed to sit on top of your existing snow peak uh, setup and so this part here essentially just gups up, comes up and uh, we'll get this on here, sits in it like so, probably lift that up a little bit more and uh, then you get your uh, pizza oven top and uh, then you put that up on top of this as well, like so. And uh, then you essentially get your pizza stone. And your pizza stone is going to fit inside there on top of that tray. And you can take that out, guys. So what we're going to do next, we're going to get the uh, fire pit going. Let that, let that uh, die down a little bit. And uh, then we'll put our pizzas in it tonight. And we'll show you how it goes. All right, guys. <laughs> Oh, summer. It sounds good right now after what we just experienced, doesn't it? Grilling out, lawns being mowed, and pools opening. These are some of the things we expect with summer. <laughs>
shop now, guys. So we'll go off and we'll cut up our other pizza and we'll see how she tastes. All right, guys. guys before she gets dark I thought uh, better quickly show you this and uh, we'll end the episode off on this guys we just finished off one of the pizzas uh, are really good we enjoyed them very much uh, I think the pizza oven works really well cooked it nice and crunchy on the bottom and uh, everything was cooked well up on top so they're a good thing to go to use guys well, I actually reckon you could probably cook a cake in those things too eh? Um, I don't know whether you'd fit one in there but uh, I don't know, I reckon you probably could do that. Um, and warming up food, I think it'd be a great way to do that too. Um, good little way to just uh, whack it in there and, um, and heat your, your food back up again. Uh, just using one of those aluminium foil uh, um, uh, devices, I think it'd be a great way of uh, heating stuff up. Guys, quickly, uh, before we, it gets too dark, I eh, just thought I'd quickly mention they've got a uh, drifter bag for this as well. So uh, just open that up and uh, you can fit the entire uh, pizza oven straight into that bag. And uh, so it's got a bit of uh, Velcro strip there on, on the uh, front. And uh, yeah, so good place to store, store your stuff in a good quality canvas bag. I've um, really, been really impressed with the, the quality of these bags, guys. Um, you know, you buy some bags and uh, they're just rubbish. They don't last very long and uh, they break. But uh, the Drifter bags, they're made out of a canvas and uh, they just seem a lot tougher. So, uh, and I, I would imagine that if I ever did have an issue, Drifter would probably give us a hand with it. Um, whereas if you bought it from another company, they'd probably just tell you to order another bag. So, uh, anyway guys, so I suppose we'll uh, catch you at the next episode. And I hope you've enjoyed our uh, pizza oven episode. And until then, we'll catch you next time. Oh,